Hey everybody, in this video we'll take a quick look at Visual Studio 2010. Visual Studio 2010 is Microsoft's Interface Development Environment, or IDE, for developing pretty much any type of Microsoft application. So if you want to create an ASP.NET web service, uh, ASP.NET uh, web application, uh, Windows application, you're going to use uh, Visual Studio. So let's, let's take a look. We're going to create a simple uh, console application in C Sharp. To do so, click on the file menu, new, and then project, and there's several ways to create it. You can also hold down control and shift and click N, and I'll go ahead and click that. And it's going to open up the new project dialog, and in the new project dialog, you'll see on the left-hand side, there's a, a bunch of different types of templates we can use. Uh, first of all, make sure, I'm going to make sure that I have C Sharp selected as opposed to Visual Basic or C++. And then I'm going to, on the in the middle pane here, I'm going to click console application. And this will create a simple C, Visual C Sharp console application. Now there's a few things that we need to be concerned with. And one is where we're going to save our, our new project or our new application to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save mine to a folder that I've created on the C drive called code. And I'm actually going to create a new folder called CS. I'll put all my C sharp code into this uh, simple path C code and then CS folder. So I'm going to select that CS folder that I've created and I'll call this CS tutorial one. Uh, note also there's a solution that we can actually put multiple applications into a single solution. So you need to decide whether you're going to select an existing solution. Uh, or if you're going to create a, a new solution, you might just have one application inside of a solution. Uh, so I'll leave that as is and click OK. And what Visual Studio is going to do for us is it's going to take this template that we chose, the console application. It's going to create all the files and links and, and create some uh, generic code in the, in the program file for our console application. So we really have everything we need now uh, to run a, C, a Visual C Sharp console application. So let's take a look at the IDE here. First we have our editor window. So this has uh, uh, the code or um, properties for the file that we currently have open. You'll see tabs across the top for each file that we have open. On the right hand side you'll see this uh, window which is the Solution Explorer. This is a, an important thing to Note this shows all of the uh, files and references and uh, prop properties files for our solution. You'll see first the name of the solution, then the name of our application. Uh, under our application, which we can uh, expand here, we see program.cs. That's our actual C Sharp uh, program or source code file. And if we double click on it, you see it appears uh, in the editor window. Now, in true Microsoft fashion, Microsoft has also included a, a uh, context-specific right-click menu. So when we're in the Solution Explorer, if we do right-click on a file, Microsoft presents us with uh, a right-click menu, which pertains to that type of file that we've right-clicked on. So again, we can see uh, there's a view code. We can view properties. Uh, and if you do need to... Um, rename a file, a class file in particular, uh, you should always use this uh, rename function. So right click on the file and then select rename. I'll just rename the tutorial1.cs. Don't forget the .cs file extension. And I'll click enter and you'll notice that Microsoft prompts us. It wants to know, do we want to change the name of the, uh, the class as well as the name of the file? And yes we do. We, we always want this uh, class name to match the name of the .cs file. So do, do rename that. And this is our simple console application uh, source code file. And in a console application we have this specialized method called the main method. That's really the starting point for a console application. So that's an important method to note. And I'm just going to add some quick code uh, which outputs a statement to the command to the console uh, application window. So I'm going to just uh, type console. And notice once I start typing that Microsoft presents us with this drop down list. That's called IntelliSense. IntelliSense is something that really assists us with completing our code 
not only quickly but accurately. So if I typed uh, under case C O N S O L E and then hit tab, notice that it fixes the C so that it's an uppercase console. Now if I type dot, we're going to see all of the properties and methods that are exposed for, for console. So uh, it really makes it easy. It allows us to see what uh, methods and properties are available to us. And I'm going to go ahead and select right line. You can see that we can either, once we're typing, we can either scroll to it and press the tab key to complete our code or we can actually use our mouse and double click the name of the method and I'm just gonna write the traditional hello world here and all this is gonna do is output uh, string hello world exclamation mark to the command prompt window uh, so now we've edited our code once we've edited our code we need to compile it so we're gonna select build and build solution this is going to compile and build our program into an executable file or .exe file. So I'll click build solution and you'll see there's an output window below which tells us whether our project has built successfully uh, or if it failed for some reason. Let's go ahead and inject a syntax error here. So I'll just take off a semicolon, pretty common a syntax error for a beginning programmer. And we want to see the error list. So what's what's happening that's wrong with our our code and if that's not showing you can go to view and select error list and you'll see below it's going to give us a nice list of everything that is wrong with our code or what it thinks is wrong with our code it'll give us uh, the line number where it's located and we can quickly jump to that by holding down control uh, and pressing G and we can jump right to line 12 another way that we can do is just click on the error list and not only is it going to take us to where the line that where it thinks the problem is it's actually going to take us right to the column as well so it's really going to pinpoint where uh, it thinks that the syntax problem is occurring so another another way in, in addition to IntelliSense and the Solution Explorer uh, that Microsoft is helping us here is it's giving us a nice error list where, where it thinks that syntax errors, errors have occurred if we tried to build the solution at this point we would uh, see zero succeeded, one failed, and then we would look back at our error list to see where the problem was. Okay, so now we've fixed our code and we'll rebuild. If we look at the output, we see build one succeeded, and now we have actually built our program into an executable or .exe file. So let's talk about how to run it now. So if we go and look in the in the file directory, <clears throat> look at C code CS, we'll see that it's created an actual executable file. Now we could actually go to a command prompt on our computer. You want to go to the either either the accessories file or go to run and type CMD, and we could actually change to that directory and run our executable file, and you'll see that it, out, it outputs the string "Hello World." So that's one way one way that we can run it, and you'll see there's a debug uh, directory. That's because we have the project set to debug if we if we selected release and built the solution again you'll see there's actually a release folder and uh, this this one this file does not contain the debug information that we would need to uh, debug the project so we'll leave it in debug as we're actually building actually writing code for the project we'll build the solution and let's talk about two different ways to run it so uh, the first way is we want to actually run it by debugging it. And the way, the way I'm going to do that is uh, I'm going to click step into and step into is actually going to execute our code line by line. So we can see if there's a control structure in our program. We can see how it's working. 
Uh, we can see what variables are set to that are causing certain things to happen. So it, it's not only a nice way to debug or, or see where problems are with our application, but especially when you're learning how to program, it's a really nice way to, to see how each statement in our program executes and see the, the, con the uh, control of execution of our program. So uh, you can do that by, again, by going to debug and step into, and then you're just going to uh, press the F11 key. You can also start it just by pressing F11. Now, second way to run it is, is F5. If you, if you hit build, uh, I'm sorry, debug and start debugging, or you can actually click this uh, start debugging or run button, uh, which is the green arrow. But when you're running console applications, if you hit F5, it's going to actually run it and then close it because there's really nothing pausing the command prompt. So a little trick to running your application, if you want to just run right through and see what executes, hold down the control key and press F5. And now what it's going to do is it's going to run your application kind of the same way it did before, except it'll always pause your program right at the end. So it'll, you'll see this press any key to continue at the very end. And that's, that's pretty much it. Visual Studio really uh, assists us in, in a, a number of ways when we're creating an application. It, first of all, generates a project based on a template. We've seen a simple console application, but there are, are several different types of applications we can create. <clears throat> it shows us the Solution Explorer, which is really like a file explorer within our IDE. We can drag and drop files. We can rename them. We can see all of the linked uh, references in our project, all in this Solution Explorer window. <clears throat> if we select a, a file or a control, if we're creating a, a visual application, we can see properties specific to that control or file in this properties window. We have a nice code editor, which is uh, uh, has syntax highlighting, co color highlighting, that shows us what type of uh, string or, or word this is. So, for instance, namespace and class and static and void and string. We know that those are C-sharp reserved words because they're highlighted in royal blue. Uh, we know that um, CS Tutorial uh, 1 and main and args are standard identifiers for things like variables and pro um, method names. Uh, those are our arbitrary identifiers that we create, and so they stand out uh, as opposed to the C-sharp keywords. So it's really assisting us in viewing the code. It also provides this nice IntelliSense, which gives us a list of everything that's available. It tries to complete our code for us, and it, it actually allows us to quickly complete our code in an accurate way by selecting items from that list. Uh, it, we also have an error list at the bottom, which shows us all the syntax problems that are occurring in our code at that moment. We can double click and jump right to it and try to fix those syntax problems. It also gives us an output window. When we build our application, we can see verbose output about uh, what, um, what happened during the, the build and compile. So did it actually succeed in, in compiling and building our file, or did it fail for some reason? and we know that there's a problem with the build. So that's it for Visual Studio. Good luck creating your first project, and, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.